and at the end of the day, it was just disappointing. You know, I think that we're at home. We're playing. We, we just expect to win at home. You know, that's all I'll say is we expect to win games at home, especially when we're up zero, one zero. I think that we have the quality to close it out. So it was disappointing. And, you know, that's that it just has to do with the team effort. I think it's not like the defense let us down or the offense. I think we just need to, as a group, be more solid and make sure if we have a lead, we take care of it. And that when we're at home, we win the games. Um, I think maybe I misspoke. Like, I don't mean like effort is in work effort. I, just, I meant like it was just like a t the team effort, like whatever it is. I'm not sure exactly what went wrong. Maybe it's just a combination of things because I felt like we were working hard out there. Maybe it was more like a coordination thing just to because I, I also felt that we just we just didn't kind of impose ourselves on the game the way that we sometimes do. And I think maybe that's just sometimes not all, everybody is, you know, on the same page. Maybe that was more the problem than effort because I thought everybody was working very hard. Um, I think Sylvester had the ball at the top of the box. I thought he was going to shoot. So I ran in to get the rebound, but he passed to Kyle. So I came back. And then when Kyle crossed, I ran again. But I guess I was barely offside. And I mean, I saw the video. It did look like I was a bit offside. So it's fair enough. You get some that bounce your way, some don't bounce your way. So it happens. My first goal ever as a professional was actually offside. So if they had VAR, they would have taken that away from me. <laughs> So I'm glad they didn't have it back then. Um, I thought they they did a good job of building out of the back, and that kind of helped them get into our half sometimes and hold the ball a little bit. I thought their goalie especially was making some really good passes out of the back too, which kind of helped them break our press. A lot of it is just mentality, you know. Just make sure that we go into the next game positive, kind of like, all right, put this game behind us. We got a clean slate. We're going to Cincinnati, and just go back to that positive mentality that we've had throughout most of the season and. I, th I think that's where we're going to play well. That's when we're our best is when we're having fun. We're positive. We're all in it together. And, and I think that we should bring that to Cincinnati. I'm sure we will. Um, I mean, it was a great experience, honestly. Just I got to go be part, like <laughs> literally the group stage. I was watching Canada from my couch and then I'm there playing, starting a game in the semifinals in front of 70,000. Mexican fans and then five Canadian fans. So, so it was, it was, it was just a great experience for me to be a part of that. Um, I'm just, I'm really proud of our team Canada. I think that we've been just getting better and better. I'm glad to be a part of that program right now. And um, yeah, I think just the confidence, I, I guess it's just like having fun. Like it's just a spark of energy to go there, do something different. And, you know, I, I hope that I can bring back that energy that I got over there bringing it back over here and kind of keep infusing that into the group. That's, some, that's something I kind of try to do in general is just always bring a spark of energy. Like whether I'm starting the game or, or I sub on, I try to bring a spark of energy. I think that's something I kind of brought back with me from the gold cup as well.